Good morning. Every day, something different, right? Shelter in place is probably around, I don't know how many states right now. But I'm here today to keep things light because the class is pretty much done. Um, 8.7 is really 8.3. and it should, I, That last lecture just said 8.3 and 8.7. So if you're in my 020 class, the class is pretty much done. Let's kind of do an overview of what's to, what's to come. So Math 020 in a nutshell is this right here. First in chapter one, we cover natural numbers and all their operations, right? Add, subtract, multiply. We did order of operations. And then we covered chapter two, which is the signs of the integers, all the negative numbers, all the negative side. Then chapter three, we solved the equations uh, for X and we did expressions and we did distributive properties. And we did those properties too in chapter one. In chapter four, we did fractions, all operational fractions, add, subtract, multiply, divide, mix numbers, fractions, all of that. We did word problems on that, order of operations on that as well. Ch chapter five was decimals. We did all the operations on that, add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals, word problems with decimals, and order of operations with decimals. Solving equations for X with the decimals. Chapter six. We had uh, ratios and rates and better by. We talked about that. We had word problems with that. Chapter 7, we talked about percents. Um, so uh, uh, chapter six, we do, uh, chapter 7, we did is of uh, problems and word problems on percents. Chapter 8, we talked about everything with measurement and conversion factors, which is very important for next semester, by the way, converting factors. Uh, like 12 inches equal one foot, or 12 inches equal one foot, and three feet equal one yard, stuff like that. The most important thing is this right here, LO, learning objective. The, there's about 23 or 24 of on your syllabus. Make sure you understand this for your final, because your final is going to be picked from problems from this thing, because I got to make sure you know the learning objectives. So go to your syllabus, whether it be online or on a piece of paper I gave you that was stapled on the first day. Make sure you know all of these learning objectives, and they're listed on your syllabus. I'm going to pick problems based on this thing and your test, obviously. But make, make sure you know every topic that's on this, because I'm going to be covering that when I do your mock review next week, or in this week, on the next segment. I'm going to start on your review this week, so... Uh, I will have it done, and I will go through problems to help you for your final. And that will be my review, and I'm not going to do a review on there. I'm just going to have a test on there, and you will go do that. So make sure you're getting your videos off here. I'm probably not going to do a review on there. All right, but I will have your final. from the Alex will be from Problems on Alex. I just want to make sure that you understand that I, if I got to do the problems on here, go through problems, I might as well do it all on her. So I will have the problems and review on videos by YouTube. So make sure you're checking out the videos and that will help you out. Order of operations. Make sure you're studying homework, tests, past tests, or homework we had at the beginning of the semester. Of course, the LOs we just talked about, the learning objectives. There's like 23 or 24 of them. Order of operations. Make sure you know order of operation for chapters 1 through 5 right there. All, all the order of operations on all that stuff. Um... Make sure you know how to solve equations for chapters 1 through 5, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, decimals, fractions. Make sure you know how to solve equations whether you're giving all this. Remember, you got to multiply each term by the else, the lowest common denominator. Expect more challenging problems on your finals, especially since you get to use a calculator. I'm not going to be there to watch you, right? So you get to use a calculator, I guess. Um, make sure you know how to do the problem with or without the calculator because when you take the class next semester, they're going to want to know, do you know how to do LCD, lowest common denominator, without the calculator? Make sure you know how to do that piece at least without the calculator. All right. So that's the overview of what your final is going to be. This right here. Make sure you understand all of this. If you don't, make sure you go over all the videos and all your notes that you had throughout the semester. When I come on next, it's going to be mock final problems. So I'm going to do about, I don't know, I'm going to do a lot of, I might even do what you have on your test. But you're going to have a mock final and so make sure you understand that all the stuff we just talked about will be considered in your mock final. Make sure you know how to do these LOs, these learning objectives that's on your syllabus. So you'll want to go back and look at your LOs because I'm going to make sure you know all, all 23 or 24 of those because that's on your final. Thank you. Have a nice day. And make sure you're uh, studying while you're sheltering at home, if you're sheltering at home. Peace out. Take, have a good self-quarantine. Peace out.